Now let's work on the bus. So I'm going to select the bus layer on scene one, the one keyframe. And when it was imported, it was imported to the library, this bus 32 ping, and then we ended up with a flash graphic symbol. So we're going to work in the flash graphic symbol since it's there or convenient to work with. And we'll edit it by double clicking its icon, and now we're editing it separately. And I need to see what's in this graphic image, so one of the ways to do that is to add some kind of a background. So temporarily we'll add a layer to the timeline, and we'll put it on the bottom and we'll go over to the flash uh, rectangle tool and let's select the properties here and what we'll do is we'll pick a color that we think is not in there I'll just pick this light blue aqua type of color and we'll just draw a rectangle of any size that you know co covers everything and we can see the actual bitmap and we select it we can see the blue outline around it and the properties tells us a bitmap all right, so what we'll do is just simply go to Modify, Bitmap, Trace Bitmap. And we'll go with the default numbers here. I should point out at this, at this juncture that there are other tools that do a very good job of doing Trace Bitmap and creating vectors. And so they might be the better place to do this. The tools are a little more user friendly, but this is convenient if you need it on the fly and now we'll just click away and we'll start clicking around on the bus and again you can see we have lots of fills that we can select changing whatever we want if we click the uh, color of the bus for example the frame of it and we can make it a blue bus or a yellow bus and I'll just use some undo keys here and go back to the original color and also can select the white and I'll start using the delete key to remove that keeping my eye on it just in case I might remove something I don't want to remove and it looks like the white for the smoke coming out of the back of the bus seems to be intact and this is what I say sometimes you may need to cut some of these items off put them on a separate layer and uh, to complete a trace bitmap sometimes requires a little manual labor anyway we've got this done I'm going to select the background layer and just delete it we don't need it anymore and uh, let's rename this in our library and double click on the name here and just say traced and go back to scene one and we have our layer selected and let's drag the trace bus onto the timeline and uh, let's position it in a way that we can sort of see the car and the bus and you can see through the windows and so we now have this in a flash graphic asset and it's just the way we approach the car we put it in a movie asset in both cases they uh, achieve the same goal that we needed some kind of container to hold the vectors so we can go back and work with them as we need it and it'll be easy enough to make copies in a library and create blue buses and green buses and uh, create all kinds of uh, variations on it save your work and let me just uh, take this and I'm going to move this up here and let's bring in uh, one of these finished movies that has these items animated so you can see that this could be effectively used here by uh, as we have seen in our example the flash trace bitmap option is handy for converting low detail bitmap graphics into vectors and then once you have them in vectors you have the advantages of the flash tools for vectors and also the way vectors work in terms of resizing try to put them inside of a flash movie clip or a flash graphic symbols that way you have the options of using them over and over again and also taking advantage of the layers to manipulate and make changes as needed